Yes, it is. Good afternoon, Ms. Rice. Afternoon. Yes. Good afternoon. Sorry. You're all right. Good afternoon, Trish. Good afternoon, Your Honor. File 24979LT. It's entitled U.S. Bank versus Patricia and Lawrence Rice. Ms. Rice, uh, Lawrence was here early. The lawyer was here early, and I was willing to start early, but I forgot about you. So I said, well, let's wait uh, for Patricia Rice to log in, and you're here now. Uh, this is a foreclosure action. There was a bank foreclosure on this property on Man Road some time ago. The property's been sold at a sheriff's sale. And attorney uh, G. Douglas Tuma is here from the Trot and Trot Law Firm representing U.S. Bank. We were here on July 29th, and we learned that Lawrence is in the house and Patricia is not and has not been for some time. There was a more than a year redemption period that's passed. The property was not redeemed. And at this point, the bank wishes to foreclose and take possession of the property. Is that correct, Mr. Tuma? Uh, yes, Your Honor, in, in large part. I think at the very end, you misspoke. You said that we wish to foreclose and take possession of the property. Yeah, it had we been foreclosed. Yeah, yes. the, the foreclosure is completed. The one-year redemption period has expired. Uh, there's been no circuit court challenge to the validity of the sheriff's deed. Um, my understanding is Patricia Rice is out of the property and doesn't claim any interest in the property. Uh, but Mr. Rice is, and we are not aware of any uh, of the very limited defenses that are available um, in a possession only case uh, post foreclosure. We have not seen any raised in this case. So we would ask for a judgment of possession. Mr. Rice, what would you like me to know? Uh, right here, June 10th, 2022 is when I filed for my disability. My first paycheck is December of 20 of 22. I have made every attempt with select portfolio servicing that if you and, and remind you, Mr. Middleton, I asked for a jury trial when I asked my case to be removed from the United States of America because I'm not going to get a free trial with you oath takers moving in and out of my house. And Mr. Middleton, I will show you your paperwork that comes from Trout Law that says right at the top of it, Team J, Patricia Rice. Right at the top of my deed and abstract, my description of my legal property. And Mr. Middleton, Mrs. Patricia Rice started moving out in 2005. Mr. Middleton, the courtesy report sent to you on Discover and Capital One credit cards that explains that since 2005, she has moved in and out of my house and took at least $45,000 with her. When she went, maxed my credit cards out. Mr. Middleton, you have all this. U.S. National Bank, U.S. Bank National Association has all this. Capital One, Discover, Pay Express. Every Pay Express card registered in that woman's name will show you the last time she left my home was about $14,000 cash, and I was maxed out in credit card debt and 25% interest. And paperwork coming from Trout Law says Team J. Mr. Middleton, from the time I left here at court last Friday, my poems, my presidential that, you know what, my presidential speeches that I've been writing, and the good Lord woke me up for two weeks straight and told me to push a pencil, not to mention 10 years of my poems like Dirt Cheap and my lottery tickets. Every, every lottery office I bought a ticket from, I want to be Taylor's cameras because Mr. Dirt Cheap and a lottery ticket was in Mr. Johnson's office with his security cameras. Everything is on security cameras that I've asked for, Mr. Middleton. And I asked for my case to be removed last week. So that means I want a jury trial. And that means I want it removed from the United States of America, U.S. Bank. It's just like Donald Trump and cameras everywhere and have me unrecorded. And Donald Trump is involved with this. And I want Donald Trump's cases, along with mine, removed from the United States because I'm not going to get a free trial with oath takers because we've already proven that here in St. Joe County with your phone. God bless. Amen. So 
we can keep doing Scott Law and Team J with this St. Joe County and very nice oath takers that want to intimidate me when I stand here and speak my very right as a United States American citizen that I want not only a jury trial, I want to remove from the United States of America because I'm not going to get a free trial. And Donald Trump's Joe Biden and all the emails are coming with me. Then if not, every phone number I have that this county has blocked my emails and my texts, you're all under arrest. God bless, amen. Do I need my citizens arrest handcuff or does he have a shot in fair? That's what I have to say, Mr. Middleton, but for the beginning. And for Team J, Mr. Middleton, Credit Union 401. I am going to speak my piece as an American citizen, as an oath taker right here behind me. That comes from his office, Trot Law. It may not be him, but it came from Trot Law. That Credit Union 401 in the United States of America. And I guess we better go with this. I want a jury trial. You have wellness checks and everything else called on me. Temporary insanity is what I plead. God bless. Amen. Temporary insanity. And you have it all on your security cameras and your wellness checks. And Robert Small, James Scott, Zach Kaminga, across my street, invaded my privacy like Mrs. Rice. And forgive her because I love her with all my heart. There is a spot in there, but... I'm worried about me now, okay? And I am filing bankruptcy as of June 10th in the United States of America because I do believe it's my right because you guys, I waited 207 days and I did not disrespect the Social Security Administration's office because they have 207 days. And if they have 207 days, U.S. National Bank Association has all my credit cards. They have all the proof. I should have 207 days. Every day that it takes for my disability to go through and you've taken seniors in Americans' homes that are disabled and holding up Jill Scott and bipolar and Big Pharma. Big Pharma, bipolar medication keeps you bipolar. The cure is inside of you. It's reading, writing, and arithmetic. That's bipolar cure. Because bipolar kind of medication ain't doing nothing but keeping you bipolar. Read the symptoms, brother. Read your symptoms. And this ain't bipolar. No, you listen to me. I this think, is my time. You I, gave me permission, and I'm going. You are going to listen. I think we're in the manic stage of bipolar, but I. You play get, manic stage, Mister Mister Middleton. This is anger because I. You know what it feels like when you can't keep people coming in and out of your house, and it's law enforcement. Do you? You did the search warrants. God bless, Amen. You did, Mister Middleton. This county. And just like the man, when I mentioned James Scott and he looked at you, same thing Officer Lackey did when I called him about the very turtle that they exterminated. It was probably an endangered species that you want to play your little game sort of about this damn tall. And it was on Facebook and it was on Man Road because the car went by. I said, just a minute, let me go, let me go. This is weird and I'm going to post it. Just let him go. I'll give him till 2.30. In bankruptcy, I want a jury trial. I am pleading temporary insanity, and I want to file bankruptcy. And it's my disability that I have to wait on the government. The government has to wait on me. And children being molested in Constantine, Michigan public schools, and you all are going to tell me i got to wait till 2.30. Mr. Middleton, 401. Credit Union, 401. United States of America. Instead of taking it, if they were smart, They'd empty their accounts or tell you, let us open up the credit union with $100 billion and take the taxes and the Social Security from it so the government gets their help they need. God bless the amen. It'd be for the American citizens. It'd be for me. It'd be for my disability. God bless amen. And it's just the beginning. But I did ask for a jury trial when I said move my case out of the United States of America. That is my God-given right. And Donald Trump and all the cases and all the security cameras, I want you to think about it, Mr. Middleton. They're coming with us. God bless and amen. Because I need it for my trial. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Ms. Rice, anything you wish to say? I did not take any money from him, sir. All right. Well, I you don't not, have any I, interest in this property. Pay express card, sir. 
Is that true, Ms. Rice? And all the fuel what? on the Capital Just One cars. Minute. Just a minute. Mr. Middleton, right. everything is proof on the Capital One cars. You have it. Well, that's and they not discover so cases that you before the court, um, your court system, Mr. Toom. I really wish I had a judgment here, but I don't. Uh, Your Honor, we'll email one over um, quickly. I've got it in front of me. I just wasn't sure of this course procedure for filing. But... All right. The email address is 3B civil at stjosephcountymi.org. Before you leave, sir. <clears throat> so just a sec. Uh, Elaine, uh, look for this judgment. And as soon as you get it, please bring it in the courtroom. Before you leave, sir, Mr. <clears throat> U.S. National Bank, are you there? Your Honor, I just have to step to my scanner. Very Are quickly. you there, Mr. U.S. National Bank? I would like for him to see this camera right here. And the cage that you sat right here last week and agreed to that I caught COVID in it and there was no way to escape it for nine days. And you sat right here in this courtroom last week and agreed there was no way for me to escape COVID. Do you want to show Mr. U.S. Bank this phone? Because I want him to see the cage I was in that Mr. Warren Buffett decided to fire me instead of pay me for the COVID that I caught in his cage. Mr. Middleton. No, I don't think he needs to see it. I, I accept if you were in a confined space. Because you sat right here in this courtroom and said there was no way for me to escape COVID in that cage. Probably not. No. All right. Probably not. No. Mr. Rice, the cold hard truth is this has to do with a payment for property that you're living in. And I would have had, nope. if I would have got my my half grant, would have caught it up. In that case, Mr. Middleton, right. that you sat here and agreed to. Yes, now stop. And I it's and I, it's and it's registered in this court. I God gave, bless Amen. I, okay, I'll stop. All right, I gave you But you will time. remove this, you will remove this eviction, this foreclosure, and this possession from this courtroom and the United States of America. And that is my given right as a jury trial. God bless Amen. All right. I don't have I don't know where I'd remove it to the outer limits. Anyway, you have 10 days to vacate this house or you're subject to being evicted. You also have 10 days to appeal it. 10 days from... And forgive me, dear Lord, for I have sinned. Mr. Middleton, I am allowed legal help and I, I have called legal aid every day this week but three. God bless. Amen. You keep sitting there doing this, Mr. Middleton, because I'm coming to you, brother. And I hopefully I can find a real old taker. Your Honor, I must have... And I hope I'm um... live stream, dear Lord. God bless. Amen. I must have written down the email address incorrectly because it bounced back. Three you give me civil at stjosephcountymi.org. Donald Trump and Vincent DiCarlo, Pandora's box in St. Joe County. God bless. Amen. All right, sir. If you wait outside, I'll make sure you get a copy. No, of I'll hear anything you have to say because you're not going to run your mouth after I walk out of the courtroom. Well, you have 10 You can be trusted about as far as I can pick you up and throw you. You're probably not that far. Well, I'm heavier than I once was, but yes, you have 10 days to move or you're subject to being evicted. You have and you have right now to remove yourself from the courtroom. You corrupt official. God bless. Amen. All right. You're good to go. You wait out in the hall. That's well. We're going to fight them all. Sorry, I'd go through that, Your Honor. Oh, it's part of the job. Miss Rice, I know you've been struggling with this for a while. There's no sense to stir the pot. It is what it is. It's a, He's in the property. It's been foreclosed on. The redemption period has passed. Miss Rice, my recommendation to you would be you contact Sergeant Bruce Morse at the Sheriff's Department in 10 days. When they go to execute this writ of eviction, it's going to be very unpleasant. I know you do have some things there that you claim belong to you, um, but the sheriff is going to have to be very cautious in executing this. All right, that completes our record. Uh, as soon as I get that order, I'll sign it. Uh, Ms. Rice will forward it to you. Um, what we had an address for you, Patricia, I'm not...